So I'm launching command prompt here and then I'm saying Python to launch Python CLI. We can see it has launched the CLI with 3.7.0. As I have mentioned to you earlier, as part of setting up uh, Python CLI, CLI is primarily used to explore the code. Okay, so you can actually come up with the logic. For example, if you want to write if condition or a loop or combination of both, and if you want to embed as part of your application, you can use the CLI. It gives the immediate feedback for you. If you think the logic is correct, you can embed as part of uh, your IDE to integrate with the existing application. Okay, you should not use Python CLI for developing applications directly. That being said, if you want to get the help, you just create a variable or uh, function and then use help on top of it. Let me demonstrate you here. So I'm creating a variable i equal to zero. This is how you typically create a variable in Python. You don't need to specify data type, but you have to initialize it. Once you initialize it like this, you can get the type of the variable by using type of i and then it is of type integer. So based upon the value which is assigned to the variable, the data type is inherited accordingly. Okay, now if you, if you want to get the help on int, if you want to check all the functions that are available or all the operations that can be performed on class int, you can say help of int and it will give you the details okay so here you can see that even the primitive type like int is nothing but a class okay even though we did not instantiate object using new keyword like in java it actually created the objects for you so if you are familiar with uh, object oriented programming with programming languages like java uh, and if you now learning python you might feel a bit confused initially but as long as you digest this information that every variable is nothing but object and every data type is nothing but a class even though it starts with lower class you are good to go and we don't need to use new keyword to instantiate the object okay and if you want to see the list of functions you can see here there is special meaning for these functions which starts with underscore underscore and ends with underscore underscore there will be operator also associated with them typically and using that operator also you can actually get the information some of these methods are private provides functionality to the operators okay so that being said, the actual functions which we typically use will look like this, bit length, conjugate, etc. So we will be seeing some of the important functions as part of the subsequent videos where we talk about functions in detail. Here I am just telling you how you can get help on different aspects. Okay, so by saying help and the class name or a function name, you can get the details or help with circular brackets. So it will take you a help utility CLI. And you can use help CLA commands here and get few more details. Okay. For example, here, if you want to get help for int, you can say int and you can get the details. So if you want to get help on multiple aspects using help CLI, you can just say help circular brackets, get into the CLI and get the help. Once I hit control C to get out of it, again, it came back to Python CLI. I typically don't use help CLI within Python. Rather, I use help function by passing an argument to it. Uh, such as int which is nothing but a class or function name etc and then i will get the details with respect to that this is how you typically get help okay